This week's episode of Naruto Shippuden. Mike Guy the Green Beast has finally emerged and he's getting ready to have an epic battle with Madara Uchiha, the Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails. But before we get there, we're gonna have to get a little bit of backstory on Mike Guy. And this is something that I've been waiting to see for a very long time because not only do we get his backstory, but we're actually introduced to his family. We get to see Guy's father in this week's episode, who is Mike Die. He basically looks nearly identical to him, except that he has a big bushy mustache, his hairstyle is slightly different, but he's the one who created the original green jumpsuit and instilled all of the lessons that Guy has learned throughout the series. Safe to say, it was really fun just getting to see him and his dad interact with each other. It was heartwarming, it was goofy, it was ridiculous, and it also proved yet again that the citizens of Konoha are real dicks. Every single side character in the show is a complete asshole. They don't support Guy or his family in anything that they do whatsoever. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that Dai is seen as something of a failure. He's not an expert at Taijutsu, he can barely do ninjutsu whatsoever, and basically he's still stuck as just a typical Genin ninja. Nobody respects him, and this is what causes Guy to want to become a better ninja. But before we get to that, there's another important element to this episode, and that's the return of Kabuto. Yes, he does return in this week's episode. There's a scene at the very beginning where he's actually healing Sasuke. It seems like Itachi actually got through to him. He realized who he truly is, and he's going to help out Sasuke and see him through of this final battle of the series. So what's the rundown? On this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden, it's just really great to finally see Dai and Guy together. They're so goofy and hilarious and infectious. The scene where they actually go to the billboard at the beginning and they're looking for Guy's name is really funny because Guy's name isn't there, but Dai continues to force his son to look for his name for a couple of hours. Then after that, they do a little bit of a training session where he's running around trying to do 500 laps. And my first thought was, damn, this kid is really tough. But then when I was reminded that he's only five years old, that kid's a freaking hard ass for the things that he's doing. And it's just so depressing how both Guy and I are sitting in the streets, talking to each other, embracing and hugging each other like a real family. And then you just have these random characters who are just making fun of them out of no- It's really depressing and it sort of paints the citizens of Konoha in a bad light. Although that's something that we have seen before. There's even a scene where it looks like Guy is getting ready to fight against these two ninja who are making fun of him and his father. And Kakashi actually has to jump in and save the day. And this is a nice juxtaposition to the two relationships between their fathers. Because you have Guy and Dai, and then you have Kakashi and uh, Sakumo. And you actually get to see a scene with him this week, which is actually kind of interesting. But really, it's the next episode where things are really going to get important when we're going to learn a little bit more about how Guy learned his most signature techniques. Because in this episode, it is teased that Guy is going to use the technique that he's never used before. He's going to open up all of the gates, and no longer will he be the blue beast he will be the Red Beast, which is going to be really awesome to see, but if you've seen the intros of the show, you already know that it's been kind of spoiled, and I really hope that they're going to give that attention and detail to the animation. Speaking of which, the animation in this week's episode was okay. It was good in some parts, it was bad in others. There was a scene where Guy powered up, he got real powerful, he was fighting against Madara Uchiha, and that was probably one of the better looking scenes this week, although it was very short. Basically just some nice camera sweeps of him running around Madara trying to attack him, and Madara desperately trying to dodge all of his techniques as well. Rock Lee made an appearance in this week's episode, which I thought was really nice. He actually ended up saving his master at the last second before he was crushed by one of those evil chakra balls of death. This was a fun episode and a step in the right direction, and I can honestly say this has probably been my favorite episode that I've seen over the course of the last couple of months, and it's still just a build-up episode, so I think that's quite a nice accomplishment. It's finally nice being introduced to the character of Dai, who, interestingly enough, I thought they were going to give him his own special voice actor. No, it's pretty much just the same voice actor as Guy, and honestly, after hearing it, I wouldn't have it any other way. He just really brings his entire self to that role, and uh, it makes you believe in that character quite a bit. This was a fun, inspirational, hardcore, action-packed episode of the series that any Naruto fan should definitely check out. Whether you've been watching the anime version or reading the manga version, check out this episode. You might see something you like. So, it wasn't the most groundbreaking episode. The artwork and the animation was a little iffy, but I'm still going to give this one right here a 4 out of 5. In terms of progression and action and new characters being introduced, this was a really fun episode. and It's got me really pumped up for the big battle between Guy 
and Madara. So let's get excited, guys. So, like I said, four out of five from me. But what about you guys? Did you like this week's episode? Did you like the introduction of Might Die? What do you hope to see from the battle between Guy and Madara? And what do you want to see from the rest of the Naruto Shippuden anime series? Also, uh, I need to mention this because it is worth mentioning. There is a brand new ending in this week's episode, which is very simple. It's done by the band who is known as Flow. They've actually done a lot of opening and endings for the Naruto series before. They're not strangers to the series, so it is very appropriate to see them there. And all the imagery at the end is is all centered around the ramen shop and it's very nostalgic because they sort of go back and forth in time seeing the progression of Naruto as a child to where he is now hanging out with the Kages eating ramen but then you have other characters like Aruka and his development you have his mother and the father you have uh, Kakashi and his original team with Rin and Obito you can see how important this little ramen stand actually is to the history of Konoha and how a lot of the key characters from the series have come here to be with their friends and to enjoy each other's company. It's a very warm and inviting ending and I like it a lot. I really can't wait to see if that's going to be the final ending of the series, although I highly doubt it. I feel that there's probably going to be at least one more ending and at least one more intro. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with it. What I will say is I liked it. You know, I really just don't have anything against it. You know, the song, I'm indifferent with it. I have to hear it a few more times, but it was nice. It went well with the imagery and it was enjoyable. So really good episode. Tell me what you want to see from the rest of Naruto Shippuden in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching my review. Make sure to like it and share it with all of your friends. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you can see all of our latest anime and manga reviews. You guys can also follow us on social media. If you guys want to help support the channel, make sure to use our Amazon Associates link. Whenever you buy something on Amazon, use our link. Save it as your bookmark. It'll help support the channel. But the best way, as always, is to simply watch our videos and to share them with your friends. Thank you guys again for watching. And as always... Stay dandy, baby.